Happy Hoarder here. Oh, and there's my alarm to tell me it's time to go live. We're going to hit that stop button. Yay. So we're here today. Nancy and I are here today to work on some miniatures with y'all. My studio is a mess. I have not. Hi, Glenda. Week. So it's a big mess. Oh, I know. Glenda, you get up so early. That is amazing. So Nancy, talk about what your plan is today. Today I'm planning on dressing up the windows on the mini living room. I'm going to be uh -huh. using some mini skewers. And I'm also going to make a little, another um, suitcase for the bedroom. I love that suitcase. That is fantastic. What'd you cover that suitcase with? It, it's, is it fabric it's, or paper? It, 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 it's, um, it's um, chipboard that I put some Mod Podge over it and then paint it. Oh, okay. Because look, it has some texture from here. So it does just how you painted it to look textured. Yeah. And then I, I, I um, rubbed some um, antique um, uh -huh. vintage photo, vintage photo um right um, what was it like called a, a the distress ink stuff mm -hmm. the distress ink and i just rubbed mm -hmm. it on it because it was too bright when i finished making it i love it yeah it needs to look well worn you need some of those little tiny stickers that, like where you know back in the day Ooh, I, need to get oh, I know right this is well traveled i love it yeah i still i need to um, buy a printer though yeah yeah. That is the thing. You have to have a good colored printer to pull some of those off. And then Jerry's still having lighting issues. You're getting all stripy. So um, I'm just using this one today because my overhead, it shows, it gives away too much information. It's a hot mess down here. So <laughs> last week I uh, finished this piece up. So this is my vanity. And what I did is I added this support right here, give it a little extra strength because most, you know, furniture like this would have this surround and then you would have this part open. So I don't know if you can tell, but this is open and this is this little support. And I did add just a little bead for fun. And I finished my mirror. So all that weird stuff that I added to my mirror, all the little plastic gems and things, once you get it all distressed, it turns out pretty cool. And I did the, you know, the highlighting and low light, you know, I mean, you know, you distress it. So you do all that stuff by adding a lot of different colors or browns. And I even used a tiny bit of this like flesh tone, but I mostly use just some browns and a little bit of black to get this really distressed. This is going to go into one of my more, um, you know, haunted houses kind of things. So I definitely want it to be really distressed and I still got to solve the mirror problem. However, I did save on my, mm, I think it may be eBay, but I have like, I hit a, a like put them in my save file uh, or watched items. Some, it's a, it's a very thin, like one eighth inch plastic mirror and you can cut it with scissors, it says. So that's my goal uh, to order that eventually, but I've been spending so much money lately. So then I forgot as I set it up to take a picture of it, I went, I have no stool for it. I forgot the stool for it. And I'm like about to die because that took me a long time to paint, get it like just the way I wanted it. And now when I try to repaint, you know, when I paint the other one, I've slept since then. I'm not going to remember a thing I did. So what I had was a bag of just, this is like thrifted stuff, all these weird little shapes. So I took this shape and I just rectangle and I have sanded, sanded it and I've kind of run my, um, I had this one too, but it was too small. So I you know, kind of played in that. And I had, excuse me, I had this, I just happen to have this very thin piece of wood, but I'm going to build like a framework for my legs to go on. And then, I, you know, I did get this stuff to kind of dig through to see if there's pieces that I need. So far, I haven't had to hit it yet, but this is a good <laughs> price if you just need some little scrap wood and you don't want to invest mm -hmm. a lot of wood, grab one of these little kits. And all such fun stuff in there. So, yeah. So, I'm going to use my Wonder Cabin things i was looking for my matchsticks i couldn't find them i don't know where anything is but i did grab these to cut down um and this is just like a little dowel and i just grabbed them because they're the handiest thing i could get oh, yeah i've never seen that before yeah huh? those are like old that's vintage stuff i mean this is from um i've had this for in the, since the 90s you see how it's yellowed you see the bot and cracking yeah up? yeah that's a old yep. stuff there. Bill says that we need to get you started designing full-size furniture, Jerry. Uh, I would love to do that. You know, if I would pursued the course in college that I wanted, that would be one of the things I would have done. So I would have, you know, had a, there's a class where you actually design a piece of furniture and I would love to have done that. And that's why I went back to college. I was just taking classes in anything. I wish I'd taken that class anyway, even though it wasn't a major, that would have been fun. No, My you, you got to make it out of like cardboard. My niece had that class. 
She did. We made it out of cardboard. She made it out of cardboard. It had to be strong enough to hold you. It was uh -huh. it was an engineering fit. Yes, I love it. Did you didn't do anything like that in architecture? No, we, we just built on um, a bunch of models. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I thought I had a ruler sitting here, and I guess I don't. I don't know where to measure. How do I know how to measure? So anyway, mm -hmm. my um, my ruler. So I had this mess sitting here. Now what? Say she's not on yet. She must have forgotten. I'm using the fabric fix on this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree, mm -hmm. and I'm sticking. Um, I think we discussed it. They, they look like um, sandwich picks. Okay. Yeah. I can't so I'm, I'm using these. I'm going to put them on there full size. And then after they dry, I'll, I'll cut it, the edges down so they all uh, are the same size. Because they're so small. Everybody else has. I'm just using this. And I will tell you right now, I don't have the strength to use it. And it does tend to split. So I'm going to try that. Oh, I'm not going to try that with it because I need some water. I'm going to try this wetting it technique to see if that keeps this from splitting because I have had trouble with these little, um, they're about mm, a little bit less than a quarter. I would say three eighths by three eighths inch. You don't even ask me what that is in whatever other metric. Yeah. I know. They didn't teach us enough in school. No, they didn't. We, we covered it for long enough to say it exists. And that was about it. It never really stuck. We need, yeah, I would, anyway, that is a fun thing. Um, I... I, I, I just, yeah, I just like to design. I, I pretty much originated um, pallet furniture, you know, like that what was the furniture uh, that came out. Cargo furniture, remember that brand? See, I already had that idea with pallets. I was like, hey, and this was back in the 70s. I thought these pallets, mm -hmm. you can make furniture out of this. You know, it kind of reminds me of the kids in college who make the shelves out of um, milk crates. I'm always stealing milk crates from the cafeteria but the milk crates and the uh wood and then the other one was uh cinder blocks and wood it, it, people are always making those shelves out of that which was so much fun you could just have a lot of fun really designing you know how you want your stuff to look so i'm just cut i'm having to eyeball this because somebody forgot to get a ruler nothing like being prepared hey it did cut really easy actually i just dampened it and it cut deb's here deb's here and i'm gonna open something from hey. deb I am going to open my birthday cards today because I don't know what I'm going to be doing Thursday. Who knows? So, um, but since, you know, I, I tend to have I guess more people to watch it. So Deb sent me something and I did pop it open, Deb, because I was like really depressed one day. I was like, I need a present. So I opened it. So I did. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to her. I said, well, I, yeah. find that. I will let you know. Uh, but I did open it. Anyway, I'll show you. It's, it's always, it's always fun to get some happy mail. So she was going to send it at Easter and I could think forgot. So she marked through Easter and she wrote experience creating your wonderful doll houses in that suite. And it's a house, by the way. See the little house? How cute is this? And then it has uh, the little house with the fence and then the bunny. It's got the bunny and I got a bunny, thri uh, a thrifted bunny, a little tiny rubber bunny. It's kind of like my little, you know, other animals. That's But this one looks, I don't think I'm going to taxiderm this one. I'm just going to make it look alive. Oh, by the way, I thought I had the most brilliant idea, but then if someone else has been doing it, they're flocking plastic animals to make them look more realistic. I went, I really thought that was me. Never an original thought. It says, to quote G2 Taylor, that would be me, life is short. Use your china. Absolutely. Or buy your dollhouses, which I do. Happy birthday from Deb and Atticus, the Scotty dog. Thank you so much. How sweet is that? The little pop-up with the house. I love it. So, so sweet. And she sent me these. And I kind of think I got them in the wrong order now because I was playing with them. But I just love the, uh, the the artwork on here. So this is the book, uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. And I got to follow, get it in the right order. And they're all different. <laughs> but all these precious, precious. And it's like the... It's not just the poem, it's a story behind it. And if I could put it together, I could read it to you, but I gotta put it back in order. <laughs> kind of played with it. I'm not missing any pages, am I, Deb? Because that would be bad. Are these followed her? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. So we'll work on that in a minute. I wanna get gluing first. So I just cut some little pieces to go sort of on the inside. 
I don't know which ones to do first. I gotta sand everything a little bit. Yeah, it's always nice to sand because I've received a lot of, you know, I buy doll, doll stuff in bulk and you know, and you never know really what you're getting till it gets here because pictures aren't always good. Typically, people don't really sand their dollhouse furniture enough. You really need to because it's so small that yeah, the bird edges and all really show up. You see all the all the details. I'm see. cutting two pe two pieces, uh, one and five eighths and one and one half mm -hmm. for the top and the bottom of the suitcase. Yep. So in the meantime, let's talk about the blinds real quick. You kind of talk some about a little bit about what you did with those, because uh, that's going to be uh, you had to you had to set something up to glue in advance, too, on that, right? I did one be beforehand to see if it actually worked. Mm -hmm. So right now, you see this sander right here is 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 putting pressure on the sticks to it, okay. It to uh -huh. So in a, in about ten minutes, I'll pull that off, and it should be okay. So while, while I'm, that's drying, I'm cutting this the little suitcase. So I'm building, you know, I'm building the framework where my legs are gonna go. So I'm gonna. I don't know what. I'm what's just kind of putting there. it in, get an idea where I want them to be, and then I will cut my wood to go inside that little space and do a little bit more adjusting. One of my lights is, is not working, and I'm having trouble seeing this. No, oh, no. Well, I, that's the other thing. I'm, I am going to, we're going to kind of try to end at three o'clock today. <laughs> Not three o'clock. No, three thirty. Oh, that'd be crazy. We try to do that. Uh, we're going to try to end at three thirty today because I um, got some things I got to do this afternoon. Hey, Liz, I owe some people apologies. I just want to tell hey, you Liz. on right now, but Lola, I, wish, I hope Lola joins us. She's been sending me messages. Now I'm working on this. And I can't respond because she has a little project she's working on on Instagram and her name. I mean, I guess her messages kept getting bumped down and bumped down and bumped down into oblivion. And I never <laughs> And I'm so so sad because I, I was finally going through and like, oh my gosh, I've got a bazillion messages on here. And I found her message, but she's working on a little project she wanted to tell me about. And it just if I could offer some advice. So thank you for asking for my advice. <laughs> It'd be nice <laughs> if I actually come back to you on that. But I did. I did. I did contact her today about it. And so I am sorry. And the other birds, I had a lot of people who have these, their videos are posting their videos. I'm behind. Oh, oh my gosh. So I'm behind on everything because I have been, what, how in the world did I manage to cut that perfectly in half? That is crazy. My measurement made those little pieces, oh, except for that one, that was a weird piece anyway. Yeah, they're like <laughs> in half. All same size. Now I got to figure out which ones I want to use. Yeah, I got a little obsessed with the Johnny Depp trial. It's pretty fascinating to me because they're both cray cray. But it's, um, but it is a lot of it's about, um, talks, you know, there's a reason opposites attract. I'm just going to say you kind of need the balance in your life. <laughs> Hope and I could not be any more opposite, but because we are very opposite, or we have a very full life. I mean, it, it's awesome. I mean, a lot of the time living in chronic pain, not so awesome. Being alone a lot, not so awesome. So some of those things are just, you know, plague a relationship in their own ways. But mm -hmm. yeah, but watching this show just kind of, you know, right now they're doing her um, psychological evaluation, which I already pegged her. I knew exactly what she had. I'm not even a psychologist, but I just <laughs> knew uh, she was, yeah, something. Uh, yeah. So that's been really interesting. And I've been kind of... Uh, addicted to that right now because I do have a very addictive personality. I am out of so many good habits. I used to be very habit driven. I don't know if any of y'all are like you function mm -hmm. you function better when they're following some kind of a habit. You know, you're on a schedule. Thanks, and Thanks for stopping by, Liz. Yeah. Oh, Liz, I'm sorry you couldn't stick around, but it's going to be, we're hoping a shorter show, so watch it later. You know, so no people are like, people never show up. But yeah, so I was um, really interested in just knowing the basically person. Uh, I wouldn't call it mental illness as much as it is just behavioral. Like you've gotten so set into these behaviors mm -hmm. that it's um, got away with it too, apparently. 
But, you know, I just had a lot of, I have compassion for her. She is a young woman who's trying to find herself. I mean, I remember being that age. Oh, so long ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> so many years ago. Birthday coming up. And, you know, you're just trying to find who you are and where you fit in the world and all that kind of stuff. So you are influenced by other people that you're around. You know, is this how I'm supposed to act? Is this what I'm supposed to do? You know, that kind of stuff. And I will say, growing up without social media and without cell phone, without all this stuff, it's, it's really amazing how little has changed. And so I can only imagine what that kind of influence does to somebody who's already predisposed to not quite get it. Mm -hmm. so, I wonder how many more, you know, conditions have been, or, you know, behavioral been diagnosed been in since, the, since the internet. I'm just saying it's because we're exposed to way too much stuff now. Yeah. But it's interesting and it's sad and it's um, educational and it's, uh, and it's also very interesting to see what horrible, attorney she has if i have anybody has attorney is watching this come on you know that they're they're just messing up everywhere you know they are and oh my gosh it's really interesting though i have friends who are attorneys i don't i don't think i would ever do that i don't think that was never a thought in my mind growing you know, joining us no. yeah we were better off. We were, Tracy. We were. I think we were. I think innocence is bliss. You know, ignorance is bliss. Innocence is is, is awesome. And we're and they're just. Mm -mm. But it doesn't take a rocket science to know you don't mix prescription drugs with dr uh, recreational drugs ever. And so you kind of ask for it, you know. I mean, you're just. Oh my gosh. They're just, oh. Oh, 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 I was supposed to go get my other glue because I did find out the watered down glue doesn't hold as well as the regular glue. So I'm going to let this sit. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, another thing. I'll let that sit and dry. Play this a minute. Oh, so I will tell you about my dolls. Okay, so I did, I got this doll in the mail and it's, it's come apart and I need to fix it. But this gave me a really good chance to examine the stuff that it's wrapped with and i looked y'all i did i searched for hours under anything i could think of what could this be what kind of material and i looked up gauzy ribbon i looked up uh it's almost like mm, i wouldn't say a spanish because it's stretchy but it's very cheesecloth-y gauzy type of like ribbon ish stuff <laughs> what would you think this was because you you know what would you think this material was? It's flat. It's about a, a quarter of an inch, maybe. So what are y'all's thoughts? How would you even begin to look this, this stuff up? But this wow. is all of my vintage dolls. They all have this. He needs to be completely rewrapped, by the way. I'm just going to pull him apart. His body fell apart. He came this way. Yeah, I saved him. Um, yeah, no clue what to even look for. So I was looking up all this stuff, and then I had this moment, and I always wonder where these come from. Hand of God, that's what it is. Hand of God. He just said, Jerry, you goofy person. It is this. And I started looking up. Now I forgot what to call it. Oh, uh, ribbon yarn or tape yarn or something, you know, to that effect, because I did see it called different. Now, I can't find that particular weave, but look what I found. And what I had to pay for it, I don't want to talk about. But it's a lot. There's a lot of it. I'll be making dolls forever. And I can sell them the other back because this is way more than I need. But I did find it was in different width and I did have to find extra large. So this is what I ended up with. And has anyone ever, hey, Herb Scrolling's always here. So, hey, hey Herb. yeah. So here is the, um, the yarn that I got. And it is uh, compared to what is on this doll. I did. I could not find this peach color. It was looking really, really pink. So I just got a color called sand. So it's a lot darker. I want people have a little bit more of a tan now. But I just couldn't. Yeah, the peach was so pink that I just felt like that's not going to look good. So I, it's a little more. Um, I don't know what it's made out of. That feels like cotton. This is more like a. This one to me feels more like an ace bandage. So they all look like they're wrapped up in ace bandages when I get there with them. But I'm yes. using my art glitter glue. Hmm? I'm using my art glitter glue to glue this, this cardboard. So you together. are just using, what kind of glue is it called? The art glitter glue. Art glitter, the art glitter mm -hmm. glue. 
But it doesn't have glitter in it. It has no glitter in it. That's the name of the company. <laughs> so <laughs> you're um then yeah, so you just start by wrapping her around. I may have to cut it off into pieces so I can work. Yeah. Just, no, uh, it didn't work. Yeah, the Battenberg, I did look up Battenberg lace. This is not the same thing, but I did look that up. And it was so close though. You were really it's just Battenberg has like a little bit of a trim to it, a little bit of an edge. And this is like the weirdest stuff. And I really have to like pipe. I'm gonna to, I'm gonna pat her up some more before I wrap her. But yeah, that's basically what it's gonna be. And so we're gonna to to yeah. So I couldn't find like an off white or anything that I really there we go. Never, off white being an option. I guess I could have gone with off white, but I went with sand. Uh, is that a, be a better view? I moved my camera a little. So that was one of my little projects I need to work on. While these are gluing, by the way, I do need to start my, I've got to make my legs. So how I did my legs, these are beads on a toothpick. So I'm going to work on those while I forgot there for a second. What I was doing. I think I've already lost my beads. Where are the beads? I've got a big box right in front of me. So that was, um, yeah, I mean, the, I just, uh, I don't know. I just got fixated on that. And I haven't, that's what I've been watching. I know. Jinsu um joined us. Oh, who did? Hey, hey there. So uh between this and my other thing, we it rained here for dealing with that rain situation. So I did not get a whole lot done towards my projects. So <laughs> not sure how big my, I'm looking at my body of my little things. It's two beads. I think I can just do one bead now. Let me see if that's going to, or maybe two beads. I guess how long my legs can be. I think my suitcase is going to be too square. I'm going to cut off a, a few inches, a few, mm -hmm. few pieces off here because it looks too square. Yeah. Oops. I know these, I wish I had the smaller beads. I just got these beads. I thought they're really cute. So imaginative, your beaded table. So you're imagine. So imagine. Yeah. Okay. So here's, oh, uh, thank you so much for saying that. Uh, where's my, I gotta get my piece. Where's my piece? I set it aside. Oh, over here. There we go. Too many tools. Too many tools. Do not fall. So I do, it's not going to take much in the leg. Yeah, I can't even do that much. So this is all based on my original legs and my table. I think this is all I can use for my table, for my legs. And I think that's kind of bulky. So I'm going to redesign them a little bit, but I still want at least one of those beads. Yeah. So I'm just going to do, whoops, I'm going to do one bead and then like three little ones. I think that's the better fit. I think that that's the only way it's going to fit under the table. I keep it really simple. And I don't have a lot of choices in this particular batch, but that's going to be my legs for my, my table. I mean, I'm sorry, my bench. Don't, don't just, don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Not at all. I've been watching um, several new people on YouTube. Yeah. Miss Minnie House. Oh, really? Haven't heard of them. She is. Uh, oh did you see that? Is that the one you sent? Was that hers? Yeah. I need to, I need, I looked at the thing. I was like, oh my gosh. She, she's she making her stuff at 124. She what? Her, I, her little minis are one to 24. No way. That's insane. Yes. That's insane insaneness right there folks that is i just i can't oh, think that's something wrong i can barely do one twelfth or one six as far as that goes i got some one six projects i want to do for party wrong what did i do no. wrong? yeah so i think if you're if you're kind of you know concerned about starting um something because at the size you can always do one six which is barbie scale mm-hmm don't worry about it. It'll all be good. Mike! Mike's joined us. Hey, hey Mike. Mike. Working and lurking. I love it. I love it. Going we all out. do that. Mm-hmm. 
there's a magazine i think it's out of the uk it's called shrunk magazine okay it's shrunkmagazine.com mm-hmm. and, it, and it interviews different people that are, that make um min- miniatures yeah and it gives you a bunch of different places to buy stuff they, they have a um a digital version and a and a hard copy version all right is that the one that um how'd you hear about that from miss mini okay yeah i have heard uh that there is a a site where you can advertise you know your stuff for sale and things like that but i don't know if i'm going to get any i'm um, selling do to get what i want done, mm-hmm. done and to, it, to get into the whole selling of it but I, okay, so I will tell you about my lack of, of getting my goals done this month. I'm trying. I, okay, on the beginning of the month, I said I was gonna give myself stars. I haven't earned a single star. Just, no. Star much for short term rewards. Yeah, Jerry is bad. I think why maybe ten. I got I got a ten. Whatever. I did, yeah, I failed. I failed this month. I've been doing so good. But I totally failed this month. But I did get, I, my goal was to get 500 things listed. Now I already had like a couple hundred things on eBay. If I need a total of 500, I'm up to 400. And I, and I got to figure out how I'm going to get 400, 100 more things listed. Well, something happened and I got a, it was late getting my, um, one of my shipments out and, and I wasn't selling enough and blah, 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 blah. They have knocked me back down again. They took me off a of top seller status jerks oh my when, yeah. i think once you once, once really you get hate to that point, okay. do what i said once you get to that point they should keep it they let you keep well, it you have to earn it but you know i think a month to earn it back is bull i just so sorry that is wrong that's why that is why i quit the whole i got just what just disillusioned I just mm-hmm. said, I can't keep up. It's not my fault. So when you forget to, well, I was, I would just get, get out and, and get it done. I couldn't get the thing shipped off and I had to take it to the post office. You know, I don't have to. Just, my mail lady came and I was early and I probably wasn't up and going yet. Just me. That was my fault. I earned that. But no, I'm just frustrated because yes, if you mess up one shipment out of, in this case, you know, maybe 10 things I sold. Yeah, that weighs pretty heavy on your overall, you know, status. So I'm really frustrated because there's nothing I can do about eBay sales. I mean, unless I had a million things, I guess, up listed, maybe something would sell, but I can't stay in the a range that they want it to be in. And I don't do. So that's very frustrating. Santa says her, she has a goal to clean out her attic. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I love it. That's great. Yeah. I mean, well, my, this is a weird, this is a weird thing that I learned about in one of those organize your life kind of books or whatever. And it said not to put things in your attic because I know everybody's like, where else am I going to store it? If your attic is over your house. Now, if it's over your carport, that's one thing. But if it is like over your house, like a lot of like my growing up, my, we had this hallway with the stairs in the hall and so everything was stored above our heads basically when you're in bed there it was like that area it was really the hallway i mean nothing was really over our heads but there's some negativity towards having something it's like that thing you know to have these things over your head so if it's over your head in your over your bedroom yes you must clean that area out for good positive you know whatever that kind of stuff is that and go get a smudge stick and clean you know I don't know. It's just funny. And that was just something I picked up on. I went, oh, that's interesting. Mine's over my carport, so I don't worry. Yeah, I saw um, another YouTuber. She she cleaned out her, her attic um, this week. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Mine probably could use it, but it's like Christmas, and it's, you know, it's the stuff you only get out once a year. So I, mean, I don't think about it until I get it out, and then I deal with it. I'm not going to deal with it. i just got too much. <laughs> Don't have, okay, so my, my little legs. Now, I don't think I'm going to put the supports on the legs like I was with that. I'm going to get a box to put these in because I just tore the lid off. 
New England tr thrifter just joined us. Hello, Helen. Thank you for joining us today. This is my little thing I made last week. It's my little vanity. I, okay, I, the polls are really hard to see. I started, there were jewels. I made them out of jewels and two picks and oil skewers, actually. It was kind of a skewer. So, and I put the little jewels on either side. You can barely see them. So up close, you do see the facets of the jewels and they're pretty cute. Pretty darn cute. I just thought it needed that look to kind of go with the uh, mirror. And I was going to put like cute little beads there, but then I, I needed something more textural. So, how good to have you here. And she is, uh, anyway, here's my birthday card. This is my birthday's not until the 30th. I know I'm a little bit early, but I wanted to read it. Oh, she makes the best cards. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. This is from Nancy. So, happy birthday to you. Look how sweet that card is. They're beautiful. And look, she's got a stamp. Okay, so I have a thing that goes on the back of the cards that I make. It's uh, it's not a stamp, but it's a, um, it says nobody has a card like this because I made it for you. And you know what my, my little thing says? Just because it's cheap don't mean it's home. I mean, no, just because it's homemade don't mean it's cheap. That's true. Yeah. Because sometimes you use the best materials for homemade stuff. For exactly. Homemade stuff. Yes. And so that's the thing. Yeah, I used to make all my cards, but then I kind of. So Jerry, thanks for being my friend. Oh my gosh, yeah, of course. I enjoy you too. Hope you have a fantabulous birthday. I am working on it. I'm working on having one. Seriously, and that's sweet. That look at that sweet that is. And look at the gym on this. So cute. So um, so much cuteness. Can't stand it. Yeah, I want to go see. I'm going to go see my. Um, we're going to Austin. My sister-in-law, my, my older son, is there. I also have a friend. I'm hoping we can get together somehow. There's the bottom of the suitcase. Oh my gosh. Those look, it's a good, another thing about working with the pasteboard, it does dry faster than wood. I'll say that. It yes, it does. And quicker. All right, so. Did I do? But okay. how about these were in, what, like a number, like, you know, that said, um, no, there's no pages. Oh, I, oh, it rhymes. So I think I've got this. This is like a puzzle. I kind of got them out of order. All right. So followed her skill. Like in every way, it made it. Wait. I'm never going to get this right. Right? So, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. So Mary had a little lamb as fleece. It was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Followed her to school today. And I'm going to follow her to school one day. So it's this page goes to this, which was against the rule. And it made the children laugh and play. Two mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I say, it goes on into a story, which is really sweet. Yeah, do you and you get and then you ran and you laid his head upon her arm. Oh my gosh. Very interactive. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think we lost the page. <laughs> to see a lamb. I'll let my steel in at school. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Is there more of that? Is there more of that thing? Mary had a little. Mary had a little. And that's delicious. It makes you laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Is that it? And then there's more to it, but I don't think it's the song. All right, so here comes the hard part. <laughs> Just mix them all up and make it follow you at will if you are only kind. Okay, and here's fine. And you, each gentle animal in confidence, may bind. I'm going. That is a scene. So I know these go here. I'm quite the little detective today. He says, I'm not afraid you keep me from harm. I don't know where that goes. And you ran, he laid his head upon her arm. It's getting sweeter by the minute. And waited patiently. Oh no, the teacher turned him out, but he still lingered near. I bet that's the next line, isn't it? Hmm. And, and he waited patiently about for her to appear. Wait, is that the thing? No. So he kicked her out. Wait, so he kicked him out. <laughs> yeah, I just watched Nancy work. <laughs> I hope it's not too dark because I'm missing the light. I know, it's the sweetest book. All right, I kind of got this. I know where this goes. Okay, teacher did reply. So, so where's the rest of that page? 
Hmm, not that one. Let me go get some paint brushes. I'll be right back. Don't blame me. I'm not ready. I don't have my book put together. I'm back. Yeah, I should back. Sorry. My brushes were by sink. I'm drying, so all I had to do is walk three steps. I'm going to um, put Mod Podge over the cardboard. It, it gives Amazing. you a, a layer um, of protection when you put the acrylic paint. Plus, it, it fills in any, any little gaps that, that you that you might have on top of in putting the box together. So I have some Mod Podge in this little bottle, and I'm going to pour it on. Okay, I think I got this. I'm, I'm liking this page here. Mm -mm. Okay, this goes here. Oh my gosh, I'm so lost. I don't know what page. Hmm. Okay, here he is jumping through the, the thicket here, having a good time. While we're thinking um, in the chat, um, let me know which color I should paint my second suitcase because here's my first suitcase. It's like a little yellow mustard. So what color should I paint the second suitcase? Um... You have a lot of red going on, like a dark red. I like red, I the, dark red. I have the um the brick in the in the back wall. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's red. So I can make something that, that that matches that. And so she kicked him out, and so the teacher turned him out. And still, he lingered near. Did appear. And when does she appear? Oh, well, here she is in her little outfit. So that must be her appearing. And then he said, then he ran to her and laid his bit on her arm. Okay. Um, Deborah okay. says, Jerry, you don't have all the pages. <gasps> thank you. Oh, man, thank you. It was like, this is making me cry cry. I can't figure the story out. But I got most of the story and it's really sweet. She said it twice. Jerry, you just don't have all the I can't look at this issue was responding. But anyway, the graphics are so precious. So much precious. <laughs> look at the graphics. <laughs> I just looked up and saw that. Thank you. Because I was checking every now and then to see if she had responded. But this is the, yeah, so this had been damaged. And so she just saved all these little sweet pages. And it is just full of cuteness. So I, I've been just a little bit. Kind of looks like the same artist or uh, illustrator, I should say, because I come illustrators who did uh, Baby Deer. So, who is Eloise? Somebody, don't even ask. I can't get, I can't even get my own name right half the time. Precious, love them. Put them with my other little things. In the meantime, I had something else I needed to glue. Where would I put it? Where did I there we that? go. Um, so I got some cool stuff in the, uh, from somebody who had made them themselves. And unfortunately it, it does have a badly broken piece right here that I have to find. I mean, it was broken when I got it, you know, but it's very old and it's, y'all, this is like pure handmade and I just love it. Not no kit. Just somebody actually built this because I've never seen any pieces like it, but yeah, I got a pretty bad leg. I got to fix here. So that's. That's going to be interesting because the whole thing is one piece. So I don't even know how to like put it together. De Deborah said, oh, no. I didn't do Deborah last. Deborah she'll, she'll mail you the remaining ones which survived. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, you already did that. But that's so cute. Just throw in my, throw in that box the next time I see you. Okay. I had that, something sitting right here for me to glue. Just to keep it handy. But I was wrong. I didn't, apparently I put it somewhere else. And I'd slept since then. Yeah, this is yeah. You know, I know you, this is one you have to let things glue. So this is my little box of stuff that I got from that lady in Junction City, which is the town in between Arkansas and Louisiana, uh, going up 167. 
Highway at 167. So anyway, a vintage baby bottle. And, you know, I have a few of these vintage plastic babies. So I thought, oh, I got to have that. So this stuff came out to be like 10 bucks. I mean, it was really a good deal. And a lot of it was on a, a shadow box. So it's got that tacky wax on it. And speaking of tacky wax, I bought some tacky wax. And it's really something. I, I have it in my Amazon um, box to order. Yeah. I got a whole list of, uh, of, in my Amazon. I got the museum quality. I don't know what the different, other than it didn't cost as much and it was a favorite. So a little shopping bag. It's just so cute. Okay, um, here's the, the what, what it looks like, the blinds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And you do see so you're using a ribbon, right? It's got wire in it, though. Yeah. Yeah. That has good because it kind of helps hold it into the rolled shape, right? Are you keeping the wire in? Yeah, I'm keeping it in, but um, I tried rolling it, but it, it doesn't, doesn't, it's too, the sticks are too wide for, to roll to make mm -hmm. it look believable. So this is something that, that. that somebody made and it's kind of cute. It's just a piece of like braided stuff. I don't even know what it is. It's just braided. I don't know. Raffia. No, that's not the word I want. It's like a rope stuff. Straw. It needs, it needs some glue. But then they put all these little things. So this is more, I would call this more, the yarn's too big. Okay. These top two didn't glue them very well. Well, that's okay. But, they don't have to be symmetrical. Yeah. So my, my yarn's too big for that particular one. I got an ice cream, cr ice cream that's missing its crank, and I just can make it out of wire. It's a pretty easy fix because I have another one, so I know what they look like. Okay, uh, I'm using my wire snips because I tried scissors, and but with it being so tiny, I yeah. have to a little at a time. So it you want to wet them first? You can wet them so they don't split. Just brush them with just a little bit of water. I got these. All right, so this is a real Kleenex in this box. I just grabbed it because I thought it was so funny. But I saw somebody actually, you print out the box and make your, or you scan in your like Kleenex box and print it out yourself. But this was just made out of a cardboard box. And then they used a real tissue for the tissue. Hi, Sandra. So to, and then I love me some little plates and this one is actually says on the back, Papel made in Japan. I don't know, California, Papel, I don't know. That's a sweet little plate. So just a cute plate to put with it. I think it was mm, maybe a saucer. I really don't feel the indention though. I think it was supposed to be a plate. I don't know what this is. Pieces of wood all over the house now. Oh, me too. I know. It's all over the studio. They're flying everywhere. <laughs> This is a weird like spool, but it's kind of heavy. I don't know what it went to, but you hear that? It's pretty heavy. I don't know. I think it was like a real thing. Went to something. I got these little fish fishing creel, and I have. Hang on a second. One second. Give me a time there, Nancy. When you when you cut it um, after there's glued, you get a nice crisp crisp line going across. Because I tried to um, how you call it. Measure them and cut them, and, and they never came out even. So glue it together, then cut. It's a little more work, but it gets gives you a better um, end product. And for some reason, this one didn't glue as well as the first one that I did. Oh, it's so little! I can't find had it. enough glue or have enough time to for it to glue. I can't. I can't find Oops. it. Okay, so I have, a, I have a tiny um, <laughs> fishing pole. For my, and I have a creel. My other a fly rod. I need to make a fly rod. I think mine's just a fishing pole. So I should make a fly rod because I'm crazy. Oh, there's where that came from. So I love this. This is like, I think this was a salt and pepper shaker back in the day. But they put this like jewel on the end of it. And it's like a nice little jewel. Yeah, it's glass. It's like a glass jewel on the end. Yeah. Wait, hang on. I lost, I lost, yeah, I lost two in there. I may, I may have not put enough glue or didn't wait enough time because it doesn't want to, a couple of them wants to just pop off. Yeah. It says at the bottom in glass, you know, like uh, embossed, it says, I re, I, I don't know, I, R, I, it's like a C and an E, I re, but it says stubby on the back of this bottle. I don't know what this bottle was. 
Is that a perfume bottle? But it doesn't look like a, you know what it looks like? Deborah Cabasa Home Living just joined Hi, us. Hi, Deb. Deborah Hello. is yeah, in the house. So good to see, which is another person I like to kind of keep track of. And she, I'm way behind on my videos. Sorry, another person, I apologize. I have a little, okay, a bread box that's kind of cute, but here's a little cute little wooden. Just a little, look, it's just my little piece of scrap wood. It's a bread box. And it's like very 70s, 80s-ish. Um, I don't know what this was, but it's really heavy, like like lead almost. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's just a little container to put stuff in. Like a little crockery for like, I don't know. So I got it. Anyway, I ended up with, there's a whole bunch of these little thing creels. And so I bought them because I want to make little um, line, uh, fly rods to go with them and little nets. I know. How precious. So this is pretty cute. This is like vintage stuff. This is a clipboard. And who doesn't need a good clipboard? But it's really tiny. Yeah, I, I can't tell. It may be broken, but not that noticeable. It's very small. So these are fun. I don't know what they use, but it was like a little metal. It's got wax on the bottom. It's like, what's on the bottom? The wax. So pencils, rulers, and things like that in a, a little like metal lid, like a top for something. I'm going yeah. to put some weight on top of this again. And this is a little bit separate note. I just put this in my shadow box or whatever. It was a goat, a computer goat. I'm like, I may as well throw it in. This goes, I am putting this with one of my vintage dolls. It's a bridal. I, don't, I have like a couple that are, oh, even Barbie. As far as that goes, this may be Barbie. I need to check it out. Because I have the wedding dresses. Hmm. I had a little bitty um, woolen pin. Uh, this was so funny because she had pulled this out. We kind of talked about this piece for a while. And then so. Bye, Mike. So, Thanks for coming. Painted the bow for me red. It's so cute. Yeah, thank you for coming, Mike. I hear you. I hear you, Mike. I'm there. I know. That's one of the other things uh, with me doing stuff. So I can get a shot. Funny little. It's a. It's a. It's not for my dollhouse. I'm putting my shadow box. And a teeny, teeny, tiny toy um, baby cradle, like doll cradle. I just did teeny tiny baby go in it <laughs> with the um, kids' rooms. Now this. Made out of, but it's like a, more like a decoration for a kids' room or something. That's a kite. But I love how they did the the um, ribbon. They just tied the colored floss on there, embroidered floss. I would have made it out of paper. Okay. I like I actually yes. bought it. To give me an idea. So this cookbook's kind of had it, but I like it's just I like that it's so worn. It's just this cookbook written on it. How made? It's adorbs. The Bentley right. House Minis. Yeah. She, I've been watching her old videos. Mm -hmm. I made a mini book with dragon scales. Oh, I saw that. I love that. So I need I to mean, fix what? And well, she made. Um, how did she make the dragon scales out of paper? Paper, and then just painted it with with the um, alcohol. Yeah, just paper. Paint. She hole punch. Is that what she had? Like hole punches? She, she hole punched it, and then she um, um, painted the paper with um, what is it called? Alcohol. Yeah. Ink? Apple yes, yes, she did. And then, That's and right. then added Mod Podge to them. It looked good. It did really did. It's tiny, yes. tiny. Do we mention tiny book? Yes, tiny book. But it came out awesome. Was it, it doll, was it for a dollhouse or was it a little bit bigger than dollhouse? I it was a little bit bigger. Yeah, but it was maybe, little. Maybe for a Barbie. Yeah, I think it's the scale's a little bit different. I hope this doesn't shine the gloss. If it does, I'll fix it. This is real leather. This is just a little boot I just got to put in yes, my. Yes, we are, Miss Deborah. We're doing real leather. Minis. Huh? I'm working. Miss Deborah says you, it looks like you guys are doing mini. We are. Mini. But I'm right now, the furniture and stuff to put into my um, mini bedroom, which I'll show in a second. And I have to. And I'm really just waiting stuff to dry. I'm waiting on my uh, bench to dry. And then I have like a little dye here that were um, waxed together. So they're, they're actually tiny little dye. Aren't they cute? Sure. So if there's that many, is that called Dysa? Yeah. And then this guy right here, which is a little cookie cutter guy and just a little tiny gingerbread. So he's going to look really cute in my kitchen, my Christmas kitchen. 
Although she should be done making cookies by now. And I got this old rabbit. I don't know what the story is. It's got a, like a salt and pepper bottom to, oh, it's got a hole in its mouth. So it's like a little salt and pepper shaker. I know. For cute. For a tear tray. Not that I did. I've done a tear tray lately. Ugh. All right. So how bad are we now? Have we dried a little? Even just a little? Come on. Please be dry enough to work with. Yes. It's kind of set up. It's set up, so, but it's not dry. So the skewers are, are longer than the the burlap ribbon. I didn't want it to go all the way to the, all the, way to the end. So you, you, okay. You know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You want that to... Um, and then I left a piece on top because I'm going to fold that over and then hot glue that to the top of the, of the window. And what I'm going to do is paint it with the Waverly Antique Wax, which matches the rest of the house. I mean, bedroom. Yeah, it's not it's not setting up. I need the good glue. Look this what glue. I got. I got new paint. My husband got me some white and black. Yay! So th these are little strips of wood that I was uh, that Nancy sent me, and see, I want to cover up these raw edges. I don't like that raw edge showing, so I'm going to use this to kind of finish it out a little bit neater. But now that I'm looking at this; these may be too small. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's okay though. It's kind of like almost it'll work. They'll still work. Just want to get rid of that look of. Um, I don't like those edges showing. But I will say my glue is not dry. So I may have to switch glues because my wood glue is too wet. <laughs> yeah, I put water in to get out this little bitty hole. Put too much water. And I forgot to add more glue before I started. Paying for that now. Oh yeah, it's moving. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna set up today. Let me get my hot hot glue going on. So I'll be ready when I finish painting. I need to trim just a tad on this. What I'm doing um, for the site, there's four windows on the back wall. I'm going to do two windows that, like they're partially um, raised. Mm -hmm. and, then, and the two windows behind the bed, I'm going to have them all drawn to the to, to cover the whole window. Yeah. So that way um, it, it looks, you know, like it's lived in. Like they, don't, they don't want the light coming in from the bedroom, from the bedside. Mm -hmm. So, so one of the things that I listed was a six, a bad at, or have you said they're that company, but it's kind of like the 18 inch dolls, but it's the mini dolls kind of, you know, American girl came out with the mini dolls. So, so did bad at and batat. The, 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 hi Annie. Hi Annie's back. Have you seen those? I, I, it was um, rolling in my commercials today. The the um, rainbow dolls. The opposite of the rainbow dolls. Yeah, the shadow. Yeah, the shadow. Yeah, I saw those today. I'm like, what? I haven't seen those before. Yeah, I think they're new, but uh, Marna has some. Marna bought some. Yeah, yeah. so I put. See, I just trimmed out the size. I need to kind of smush this one into it better. Like I said these are moving. They're not. It's just not going to set up anytime soon. Here's, Takes here's a, the, the little um, bamboo shade that I'm calling it. So then I'm going to fold the back in. So see here, this part here is going to be glued to the top of the, so okay. to the top of the window. I'm going to wait till my gun gets a little hotter. Glue gun that is. <laughs> yeah. So those dolls are pretty cool looking. Those are like, we call those, you know, tints and tones. Those are the, uh, adding, you know, white and black to your, no, this is black and white dolls. Talking about your gothic. <laughs> Very gothic looking. That's pretty interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see how they will appeal to the younger generation. I see where adults would love them because that's adult collectors would just go nuts over those dolls. But mm -hmm. I don't know if children was going to be, be, be that attracted to them. So I am curious. That's an interesting social experiment right there. Because they're, they're, they're not as bright as the other ones. They're like, okay. Yeah. And they're very There's good. a lot of kids nowadays um, dressing goth. Yeah. But that so, that typically, what age group do you think that appeals the most to? Not the little ones. 
Yeah, that those dolls are probably, I hate to say not little ones, but probably people who have like seven, eight, maybe, maybe six-year-olds. Definitely the under the 10 group, because I think at some point they, you know, kids don't have dolls, but I did. Man, I had dolls forever. I love dolls. Let me some babies. Yeah, so I listed my, on eBay, I listed my, I'm trying to list my realistic looking dolls that I planned on reborning, but I never did. Well, you know, if I reborn them, AKA, you know, it's creepy babies. But uh, yeah, um, now these, I think I would have tried to make look more realistic, but I just do not want to invest in that product. You know, the products you have to use for those. I said, I'm not going to get that involved in the dolls mm -hmm. anymore. That, that bait, those rubber dolls, because I just don't trust the materials to stay like I want them to, you know. It's, it's very easy for that stuff. Like I had the one doll that decomposed. Not, wait, no, what's the word? Not decomposed. Chemical reaction to the uh, Mr. Super Clear. They did some weird stuff. So after that, I just like killed me. I was like, I don't know what to do. It, you can't trust it with all the plastics. Bill said to make the second suitcase like a denim blue. Well, yeah, what? Uh, yeah, that would be cute too. That would be a thing. The red yeah. to go with the with the with the brick. Yeah, wall. I love that. Complimented. I, I can see that for sure. It's not a bad idea. I have to mix some colors. Mm. Some a little blue. All right. So I trimmed out. This was going to look a lot neater in the end because then those big old pieces. But I still needed that for for. Uh, drop it. For the stability, gotta keep them so your chair won't fall apart. <laughs> and I'm taking, I know this place, look, I now have all this stuff. So I'm just taking a pen. I do have a drill. I really wish my stuff was dry, but it's not. So I do have a little hand drill, but it's got my um, rerouting tool in it. And I just don't like to that now. I have one of those in my Amazon. Um, oh, a drill, hand drill. Oh my God, I just put my thing. I just split it to look away. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that glue is not set up. I'm not worried about that splitting because it's not, like I said, this is it's a doll furniture. If it was people trying to sit on it and split, mm, probably not be a good idea. Not that I'm going to buy everything in my Amazon cart, but I, I like shopping. I things. know, yeah, I know. I put it in and pick it up. Put it in, pick it up. Yeah, yeah, I do it and save till later because, oh my gosh, we, because my, my husband will go and buy something because he's the only one has got Prime. So I, I'll put stuff uh -huh. on his, you know, and then I, he um <laughs> accidentally ordered something. I went, oh man, I forgot to take that out. Well, thought you needed it. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, you do wait till they're you get enough stuff so you can get free shipping. Just makes sense. Okay, I am very not happy with Jerry and her decision to add water to glue. It was not a good choice. I'm just saying. Because I will say that thick glue will set up pretty fast if you let it. So if you just leave it alone. Leave it alone. There. There we go. I'll go to the back. Oh, just realized what I'd done. Hmm, brilliant. Let's see if I left myself enough wood. See, by, by adding the mud parts onto the cardboard, the cardboard um, not, doesn't um, warp as much when you add the acrylic paint. Mm hmm So I have just really messed this up because that split is not going to be my friend. I need to do I'm making a, another mini suitcase like I showed on, on my Instagram yesterday. And I'm adding some blinds, some bamboo blinds to my windows. So this is the, the bamboo blinds that are drying right now. And my heat, my heat glue gun is heating up, so it's pretty soon I'll add that to the second window. I already have one made. The two side windows are going to have partial blinds, like like a, they've been rolled up. All right, so and the, and the ones in the middle are going to go all the way to the bottom. So I'm having a bad time right here. Um, my wood split. I have to make another one because that yeah that wood the split wood's just not going to work. I think it's not glued. She says she's got another meeting. Be back soon. Okay. 
You know what time is it getting to be anyway? I hope we're hey, still Mr. Here. Jerry Brown. Oh, it's almost three. Hey, Jerry. Thank you for joining us. JB. Darn it. All right. So maybe this time, Jerry, why don't you try it this way? Why don't you just. I, I'm i pretty sure I'm going to just do it again. When I cut it, it's just going to do it again. It's going to split. I was watching ben Bentley um, House Minis. Uh huh. Um, when she was redoing her, her office, extending it to the porch. She's got some cool machines. Oh, yeah. She's like, I want one of those. She does. Yeah. I and want one of those. And then she's made it a business. I mean, it really helps. It, once you just sat down and said, okay, this is going to be a business. And and that's a, what a great little business to be in. But, yeah, those machines are um, interesting. I, I want to um, – she has oh, um, nice. She has an, um, an antique stove kit. Mm -hmm. you order from her? I know. Oh, I love it. I have, the, I have the, one of those stoves already that came in, a, you know, with one of my lots that I bought. That one of the dollhouses I bought actually. I love that stove. It's adorable. I mean, like, I want to get it, and it's not that expensive. Mm hmm. Because I've seen people that sell um um three three D um um whatever projects and stuff, and mm -hmm. their prices are a little high. But yeah. hers without what because you even have the video to to follow to put it um to it together to do, yeah to paint it uh huh so um okay, I'm going to let's see how I'm going to do this so you guys can actually see what I'm doing uh, I'm going to have to move the camera I hate that I had to trim this off in such teeny tiny increments let's see what I can do uh, let's see oh, let me move my sander. there we go. Yeah, this is why I, I worry. I see these people on their um, on the web on the you know our channel that would like I me. Mean, I'm sorry, our Facebook group, and they're amazing. Oh my gosh, they do the most. That houses look like a house in the picture. Yeah, look so real. And then I and I'm just not there. Yeah, my mine's just gonna look like a three year old my day. But Deborah, Deborah says announcement. I have now finished 23 beanies for the nursing home at the Virginia VA hospital. When I get oh. to 25, I have them delivered. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. That's a lot of beanies. Your hands must be cramping. Are you are you crocheting or knitting? Or sewing? You can also sew beanies. Yeah, you can see. Because lately I, I, hmm. I can't crochet for a long period of time because it gets so. I I say I have a drill. I don't know where I put my drill bits. I thought they were on my shelf. I thought they were on one of my shelves here. Oh, here we go. You see my little blind there? <laughs> I can't. I don't know. Here we go. It really is. I don't know. For some reason, that one feels not as, um, oh, true. Oh, well. I'm using a, not really an awl. This is a tool for, um, pottery <laughs> yeah and sculpting not not From using last time I've, I've added this um carpet to my little house it has a little carpet now i yeah. found this this carpet at dollar tree and i thought what? it was a good, good size for it what is that this is a, a piece of carpet tile and, yeah like a like a rug for a little rug or something mm -hmm. wow and I cut it down to fit in Oh, here. my gosh. Did you see that piece that Robin's husband found? Oh, How yeah. That's, that's awesome. That? I love that. I, little I told her that was a great find. That was the best. So here's this little blind. It doesn't roll up or anything. It's just pretending that, it, that it's rolled up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here's the other blind that I made earlier. So there, there's a, the progress. On these, I'm going to go all the way down. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love it because they're right there by the bed. It's gonna look good. Because it's, it's gonna be right behind mm -hmm. this guy here. So I'm gonna take it all the way down. Hmm. I like it. I don't know what to do. I need I need to drill. I need the drill. To, ro to roll it like I wanted to, I need it like half the size of those little dolls. And I'm not sure if you make them. <laughs> 
Wow, I think you've got to clean up because I can't find anything anymore. I've just made such a big mess. I can't the find only, my. The only problem with the, with the carpet is this here. Look, I had to cut this part out so the door can swing open. So I'm uh -huh. gonna try to get, match this with with some paint, oh, or, to, yeah. or try to get um. Wait. Oh yeah, because you got how you have that door attached? Is that on a hinge? They're on, on hinges. But trimming it, the door would be which would be well. You've already cut the carpet, so you're kind of yeah. That is interesting. Get on that curb like that. Okay, it, that's it, not nothing. nothing with, I'm with, with this um board, it's it's too hard to to um trim. Mm hmm It took me an, over an hour to, to cut it out of the uh, out of the actual frame. Wow, that is not good. So I'm gonna um try to uh, match the paint. So it, it looks like that, or or get the the, um, the paper that I use for the living room floor because I'm putting it next door to the living room. Maybe extend it into here or something. It's it's not glued down. It's just um, double sided tape. So if I don't like it, I I can I can just um take it off. Yeah. So speaking of double sided tape, I don't know how I'm gonna get that to stay on, but my um. I'm kind of give y'all an idea. Okay, nothing's gonna. No, it's a day, cause why? We're live. Uh, yeah. There. So here's the legs to my little thing, and I, and what has happened is this wood keeps splitting where I'm trying to make it, uh, and so I'm just gonna try to glue it to my little legs. But I don't have enough surface. It's just gonna be a problem. I can tell. Oh, here's the la lantern that I did last week that I finished after the live. Mm-hmm. This is me frustrated. I'm scratching myself. Oh, I love it. And you got all painted up. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's got a little oh, fake candle look inside. That looks good. Oh, I love it. How did, okay, now how did you make the candle? It's a, a, a wooden dowel that I cut down. Mm -hmm. And then with, with my hot glue, I dripped the, yeah. I dripped it on onto it. So it looks like it's dripping off the, the, the candle. I love it. That is, see how easy this is. It's just a step-by-step -step thing. but Except for me not be able to glue anything. Right now. Yay, there's that. Oh, I measured that right. Right, look at this. The little container, the 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 IKEA furniture is just under that that blind I just um glued, so it doesn't it doesn't um interfere. Huh. So uh, I never. Well, my husband's going to go ride a bike, so we're gonna we can do this until he gets back. So what time is it now? Three or six. So yeah, he'll probably be gone. It was one all night just to go somewhere. <laughs> Look, way. the blinds that I, I just glued are, are just right above this little um, storage container. Uh-huh. Oh, good idea. That was an accident. I wasn't measuring it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It just worked I out. I forgot about, the, 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 about that being so close. All so right. I'm so gonna, this I'm gonna is the little suitcase now. The thicker glue is going to hold it in place versus the other. Yeah, this is not a good idea by any means. I'm just saying. I do prefer to have a hole in all nothing's working Jerry's going to have a day all day it always is better to make a little hole for your thing so that's not working hey! love it it's awesome i don't want a hot glue i don't want to do it but i think that's the only way unless i use a wood glue that is a super glue type product you know and you can like spray it and there's that there is the glue like that i know But yeah, this is not liking me today. Hit with sander. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Okay. Build correctly. And she's back. Boy, those are quick meetings. Yeah. So Phil wanted me to wrap it up early so he, we could go uh, run an, air, an errand and I go out and he's loading up his bike. So he's heading out to ride bikes. Uh, bicycle or bike bike? Bicycle. Yeah. Going to the park. They have like the trails, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I, I don't. I just. I'm not into the whole trail riding because it's. Oh wow! Well, wrong glue. It's pretty. Um, I'm gonna try one more glue. I don't think it's gonna hold. Not knowing if I like this or not. It's kind of thick, and so it may hold it in place. But I. Don't, it just no bonding properties to it. Right. All right, Jackie. We know anything about this glue? Anybody? Nope.
has any Which look at this uh, fabric tag. But it's like, ew, it's like, um, it, I think it's going to hold it in place better because it's thick, but I don't know what it's going to do what wood glue does with that whole bonding, you know. I just used that on the, on the, on the skewers to, um, to glue it to the, yeah, the burlap. Okay. And I just put something heavy over it and let it sit. I like it. And I, I don't think I, I let it sit too, too long because some of it. Some of them are, are, are coming apart. So what uh, I did on the back where the burlap yeah. where the back burlap is on the back, I added mm. some mud podge. Okay. So that way um you got the fabric track in the front and mud mm -hmm. podge on the back. And <laughs> more wood flying across the room. <laughs> uh well, I can only hope for the best here, but you don't want to see the bottom of this thing. It's not pretty. I'm going to mute a second so I can um, use my heat, um, yeah, heat gun. Okay. Uh, I better walk out here and they've like gone. I think they're going to do it too. Hmm. 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 Mm -mm. Here. I'll tilt down because you see. Me. Oh, see. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Not wanting to stay on there. It's going to just. Tear just falling off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These little tiny things. Well, I if I was if I was doing this for real, okay, I'll tell you right now. If I wasn't doing this live, I was gonna show you funny. I would drill it holes and I would go take I'm not in the one place. I am all over the place when I work on anything. And so I'm you know in this barn uh drilling holes because I don't want to bring if I bring the drill here's no place to put that big old drill. But I mean I'm just everywhere and so it's hard. I think I'll still split it though. It's Jack, very Jackie Burns so joined us. Huh? Jackie Burns joined us. I know I said hey. So, um, as, as, as Jackie, if she never used this kind of glue for anything, anybody else in the chats use the glue? Cause this is my, I just got this recently. First time I use it, really use it. It is like, God, it's got some hairs on it though. You can for something else. I say that I did use it. I just haven't used it a lot. Oh, I used it for the eyelashes on my doll and the eyelashes fell off. So that's what I'm talking about. But where I would before used Y'all see that? I had I used um, paper. just I, the I, I, L I mm, Aileen's. You say her name? Aileen's. I say Aileen's. Aileen's. Yeah. Aileen's. Aileen's. I Aileen. Oh, who knows? Who? Yeah, I know. I used to watch her her um, craft show on on TV. Right. But um, I don't think she's been on a, in a while. I don't know if she's still around because she was in her yeah. 80s back then. Oh, wow. I don't, didn't know that. So I don't remember her having, but there used to be a lady who had a show while when my kids were little. And that was like, I lived for that moment and watching her about like 30 minute show. It was, she had like cooking tips and crafting tips and little things like that. Cleaning tips. And so it was really fun to watch. That kind of show. You know, home with kids. Mm -hmm. I'm using the scrap of paper to line the inside of the suitcase. All right, so I have my little bench lol <laughs> glued together, but I know it's going to fall apart because uh, I need to like probably stand it up on so it will put on its own weight on <laughs> like kind of crooked because our legs are going to fall off. But anyway, that's my bench. No, it's pretty cute. It's going to work. And he says she used to watch her too. Oh. She, did a, she did a lot of a lot of crafts and her daughters were there too. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's the family business. Uh, that's probably before YouTube. Yes, <laughs> uh, obviously on YouTube. Oh, yeah, for internet. Are you kidding? I used to watch those shows before internet. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, that's what you watch. You didn't, we're lucky we had cable back in the day. Yeah, or you know, anything because if you had cable, you only had like still only a few channels. Ah, oh, reminiscing <laughs> a few channels, Jerry. Um, from Deborah, if you email me the measurements, 
I will crochet a skull pattern bread spread for your haunted house. Do it soon. Oh Let my me gosh, are you kidding me? That would be awesome. That was that sounds cool. That would be awesome. I've seen those um skull blankets. I do. I think I need to put. Um, I need to reinforce the legs. So I'm going to make some cross pieces. And nothing I like is. I don't want it to look unstable. But that's happened to dry too. Oh man, that's so tiny though. Can I even get in between there? I'm, I'm painting the inside of the suitcase before I add the paper. That way you don't see any cardboard. Okay. So one of the cool things I bought. Oh, can't find. Everyone missed about I got. Um, I didn't know that, oh, I, I, know. I ordered this from Amazon, the finger cutter one. And Philip oh, said, cool. "I husband looked at it and goes, we have one of those." I said, "Where? I've looked everywhere. Probably in the drawer. Where the other ones? <laughs> no, knowing me, because I didn't look hard enough. Oh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look right at something and not see it." So, a bunch of junk. So, I went on notes on the um, things to hold things. I haven't opened this yet. So, we can open it to see what I got. So, this is an Amazon. Like I said, I failed miserably this month on my goals. I've even been thrifting. I'm just like, I'm over it. Like, I just did not make it this month. It wasn't a good month for this. Too much stress. Too much stress. Whoops. I'm thinking about to cut through my fiber spider has a great pattern for. Repeating skull pattern from crochet thread. Ooh. Ah. So this is, um, these are little, they have silicone tips on them for holding stuff. And uh, so that's pretty cool. And like, I need one right now because I'm trying to cut this tiny piece and I need to be able to hold it in between the two. Yeah, I've seen a, a lot of the tiny people that have been watching. Not a tiny people. No. <laughs> people that tiny, tiny stuff. Yeah. They, they use a lot of tweezers when it comes to the small stuff. Oh, yeah. Well, I got the fishing one. I mean, I'm sorry, the aquarium ones. Because that's like if you're reaching inside your dollhouse and uh -huh. you need to put something and you can't, you sometimes don't need your big old hand in there. So it's really long. So I, I think you should check into those for sure. I would recommend those. Because that way you don't have to reach a big old wonky hand in there and try to put something on the back and take out everything on the way, you know, because that's what I would do because I'm so clumsy. So clumsy. But yeah, you know me, I always got glue on my hand and stuff because I'm sticking my hands in everything. It's not working. Is it too big? After all that, it's too big? No way. Oh, such a good plan too, Julie. And it caught me. <laughs> tiny people. The tiny people. Tiny happy people holding hands. <laughs> now, how much can we sing before we get people monetized? I think I think you can sing a little bit. I think you just can't have music. My 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 um my question about songs and and I had never hit all these notes anyway. So there. <laughs> so what's how your come, thing? How come TikTok has all those songs on there? Oh, are you getting my? Well, if you're monetizing, I guess. Mm. No, because uh, I've, I've 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 done a few TikToks with with, with um copyright mu uh, music. Yeah, and and, and you could you could post it. So hmm. so is is it something that TikTok um paid for? Or? I don't know. Is it like their? Oh, because they have it on their. Could you just get their the songs? From other, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you can get, get get the songs from from their 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 library there. Well, I think there is now. We may need a ruling here. We need a lawyer in the house about this. But is there a minimum? Like, if there's a certain amount of the music you can use, you can hint at it. You know, like that. Well, but, there's 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 some um, not that to pay copyright on it. Well, there's some TikToks that could, that could go up to three minutes. Yes. So that would be another thing. So, I mean, the ones that are like 15 seconds, I don't know. It'd be, I, I haven't really looked into all that. I was just curious. Like, YouTube yeah. frowns on it, but then, you then on, also on Instagram, you can put some music. Mm -hmm. Here's the inside of my suitcase. 
I love that color. Oh, I do too. That is awesome. I, I missed I missed the back of the, of the suitcase. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I'm such a klutz. My hands just they have a mind of their own. They want to go every which way. I can't get them like up and down. Stop. Okay. And then put the cover on the other one. There's so much eyeballing here that you don't even want to know how crooked this is. Jackie says, I wondered about the music on Instagram, too. Hmm. So I'm, 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 it, that's a interesting to, to, not that I, I don't, if they let me use it, they let me use it. I'm not going to. Right. It's, it's just, I'm just curious. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I should have measured my tip. Eyeballing is just the hard way to do everything, Jerry. It's the hardest way. And I'm trying I'm cutting these like a little about about 45 so they kind of fit in between those beads. You know, I'm just trying to stabilize my legs with some cross pieces. It's not like a thing to do. So here we go so far. Because I'm designing my own furniture. There's my suitcase. How you doing? I love it. It's so cute. It is now really I cute. have this faux um leather from Dollar Tree. Uh-huh. I cut it uh, into a quarter inch strip. Piece for your straps. Nice. And this is this is gonna be what's gonna be um um holding it down for the hinge. Yeah. And when, I, when I ordered my little grabbers, I ordered red for me and black for the barn. Oh, I say the barns like my husband can use them if he wants to, kind mm -hmm. of thing. But that way, there we won't get them. You know where, where where they're supposed to belong, huh? Yeah, by the color, by the black ones in the studio again. Which is what would happen before there would be black ones in my studio before there would be red ones in the barn. Yeah, because somebody cheats. Somebody's a little cheater. My husband was just teasing me. Going going somewhere. He's thinking, well, she's 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 busy. She won't she won't mind if I go if I go back now. I told him what my plan was. I was gonna end early today to go ride his bike now. You know, that was like at you know, two o'clock when we came on. That <laughs> way. Mm, yeah, communication. You know that thing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm using super glue gel because I um for some reason this leather strap does not want to glue onto the the cardboard mm -hmm. with just um regular glue. Really? So, is it damp? Know? Is it because it's damp or something? No. I need a bigger piece. Yeah, yesterday when I when I use and sometimes ugh, Sometimes the super glue doesn't want to um, hold on either, so mm -hmm. I don't know what's the deal. It's one of those trial and error things. Let's see if this works or that works. I like the, the blue with the brown. I had to actually mark. Look mine. at the blue with the brown. I have to fix that part there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, am I buffering again? No. Excuse me, my buffer. Oh, man. Why is you always lose the piece you need? You always, it's the one that flies across the room. That's happened to me. <laughs> yeah, I got new L's on. I was holding yeah. on. Mm, man, I, like measured, the, I actually the, measured it. That's what I said. I don't know if it's going to fit. I just measured the, it. The, the, the bad problem about that, too, is, is like, you, that's the last piece of wood you have that size. Oh, well, that's that would be my next thing. And I did. I measured it, and it's still too big. Yeah, I, I like I like bike, riding the bike, but I like riding it on the road since the, you know, I don't like getting on those wood trails because mm, I will crash so big time. I don't even want to talk about it. It's, I, I a lot, it's really I, hilly and steep. And so I'm not that skilled of a bike rider anymore. I just don't do it enough to be. When I, 
Mm -hmm. When I went to school in Tallahassee, um, a group of us um, would do the off-road trails. Mm -hmm. And and Tallahassee is not like the rest of the Florida. It has hills. It has hills. It died about to say. It's a little different climate. Mm -hmm. over there. But it was fun. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think I would do it now. <laughs> that was over 20 years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I my yeah, and my husband. He, when I well, didn't he wake up with, with um, pain and eggs all the time, knows because it's the same trails. You know what I mean. You so you know what's coming, and you know how to handle yeah. it. You gotta learn how to handle those those trails. But I me no, I better not. I am so prone to disaster. I better not do. Don't even go there. You know what I mean. You're asking for it. Why do you have a bike if you're scared of it, Robin? I, oh, I will ride on the roads, though. I don't mind. I mean, hopefully I won't crash on a road and, and some milder trails. But I know those trails are serious. They're, they're serious. Well, you know, because you've been on some of them. You know how bad they can mm -hmm. be. But they can be pretty scary. Especially going downhill. Well, and, they, and they're so steep. Yeah. And then uh, bumpy is all get out. So you're kind of having to ride on your... On your um, and your legs not not no, sitting down because your booty can't handle that at all. No. And the thing is, you don't want to be the first person to go riding in the morning because you get all those spider webs when you go through. Ah, the I haven't I haven't encountered that. That would have freaked me out. Well, the sun, you know, and that gets hotter. Most people like to go early, but that's mm -hmm. there are lots of spider webs. Oh, my straps are a little crooked on this side. Oh well. Yeah, Jackie, my, um, Jackie says my do crazy daughter has been taking long bike tours when she travels in Scotland. Yeah. It was a sixty mile what, sixty mile tour? Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, after the second mile, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, my now my older son. This is weird. He did when he was in Scouts. He did the the fifty mile tour where they go and then they camp. They actually oh. have like a they have a set set up. You know, somebody goes ahead. They don't carry all their gear. There's some, they, someone else has already kind of got it ahead of them and set, got their gear and they still got to go set up, but they don't have to carry all their gear with them. But they do have to carry like water and stuff because it's a long and it's an overnight, like two nights. You go, oh, wait, how long is it? Yeah, it's like, I think they go spend the night and then they go farther the next day and then come back or make a loop or whatever. They, so however they get back, but they, I thought they spent two nights for some reason. I don't know why I thought they had a two night trip. But maybe they went 25 and then drove back 25. Maybe that's what it was. But I remember he had to spend the night. So that, there's my, then I put my little, I don't know if y'all can see my little, my little uh, supports in there. Keep it sturdy. Big help, guys. Just saying. Just, just sitting up. But I do need to let that little baby dry. And leave it alone. Please, Jerry, don't touch me. Please, quit touching me. And then with the feet are a little I, bit off. I didn't, I didn't mix enough paint, so now I'm making a new color, I guess. Oh no! I hate there's it when a, that happens. I know. A, I've got so many. It's a super glue guy on on the top here. Well, I could put a little sticker there. After. Nah, that's what I'm gonna do. That, that, all that's, right. So more fun stuff. No, I no, got. No. So there's my red. Ah, I got paint all over me now. Oh, I need this. And now I'm going to do the little little handle. I think so, it still came out too square. I don't know what I, because I did a. a I wanted to make it a little slightly bigger than the first one. Mm -hmm. So I was just eyeballing. So it still came out a, a little square suitcase. Oh, well. So it has like a flat nose one and a, hang on, a little rounded nose one. And then it's got the, um, and then the little angled one. And then here's my set for my hubby. So he can have, or the barn, which I'm going to call it what it is. It's for the barn. And then I went a little nuts on this one. Let's see what all I got. It's like, give me the most you got. I'm not doing actual surgery here, so I'm not worried about quality so much as it was cost. I wanted cheap ones. So I got cheap. Yeah, I, got, I did get the long stuff because once again, you don't, you know, you're trying to reach inside these houses. Like one of my houses is 16 inches deep. Oh my. Yeah. I won't, wouldn't be able to reach in there. I got tiny arms. I think it was bigger than that. I think my, uh, yeah. So you want to be able to reach in and put something down and where you want it and not stick your hand all up in there. 
fantastic. I mean, these, now these are hemostats, so they'll lock, but they're also very handy. So my little weak hands to just have, you know, around. So I got a bent one and I got a straight one. I have, I already have mine, the size right here. So my, by comparison, we're talking this. This is the daddy. This is the baby shark. I have these. Baby shark. Yay. Yeah, there you go. Uh huh. I like, I like the one that, when they like lie. Mine, yeah. So it did come with that white. I like these look more like yours right here. This is the little bit smaller one, right? Is this one smaller? Yeah. So this one's a little bit smaller. And then this one's more the size of this one that I already had. This is a little bitty one. So it's a little bit for teeny tiny things. Yeah. I think this, where's my bent one? I don't even know where my bills are. So, yes, that's kind of where I am. And what are the chances this is going to be where I need, when I need them, they're going to be where I want them. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I got a set of six on Amazon. I know, I should put a link. I know, get your act together, woman. I need like a person who does all that thinking for me. I just want to be creative. Like I'm Tammy from Crafty Peep. Tammy from Crafty Peep, she has um, I Beth saw, hey. Hey. Yeah, she has what? Beth Wynn Potter. She, do, oh. she does all her, her links for her. I know, I know. I'm, not, I'm just saying. that's It helps to have the person who's doing all that little stuff. Oh, sorry. It looks like I have a whole bunch, but one of these was mine. Originally, it's just thrown in there. But yeah, so I got that. And those are going to be great little helpers. And plus, it's just things you need anyway. So they're good things for a shop. Good things to have in your shop. What else do I have? What is in this box? Why is no. Yeah. Oh, there's glue. Ah, something else need glue in. What is that? Where is my glue? stuff I wanted to glue today? You know what? I think it, I know why it looks weird because it's too big. What time is it? Is it time? Three? Yeah, so yeah, I don't know when he's going to be back. So much for that. We'll just go to four then. So that's uh, fun, and I will get those out of my way for now. And then I will. I'm going to do something. I'm excited to work with more mini stuff. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We start watching those things. There's just so many ideas. It's just crazy. The fun. Annie, Annie, Annie you need to watch Miss Mini. Oh, I forgot what her, her channel is. She made uh, Alice in Wonderland miniature. What I mean. It was like crazy. And also Bentley House did a, a Alice in Wonderland. That's how I found um, Miss Minnie is through yeah. um, Bentley. They, they, they did a, a collab doing the um, doing the fairy tale. Mm -hmm. So she she um she That's shared true. she shared her. Someone was gone. What I'm talking about. Let me let me get her real quick. Oh, you know, oh, hang on. Let me communication issues again. I think my husband's still here. Let me see what he's up to. I thought you left. Miss Mini Life. Are you I'm gonna put her um, link in the in the chat. Okay. Hmm. Miss Mini so, Life. Uh, Miss communication again because I said, "Well, go on, and then we'll just keep going." And now he's in there. He's like taking his bike off and everything. What is going on here? Okay. Here's, here's. Did you put it? Here's um, the link to Miss Minnie. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I'm not feeling it. Okay. Where yes. Okay. Stream yard. Here we go. I'm I'm sure. Sometimes we just have to kind of. I, mean, I don't feel good. I don't feel like talking either. So sometimes I just need to concentrate better. Yeah, I want to see the uh, Alice in Wonderland. That would be great. Oh. And he has another meeting. <laughs> oh, well, you know, she has a job. The woman She's is a pretty busy lady. She really is. I mean, that is a good job. And um, I, uh, yeah, so just trying to get like stuff like this done. And I'm like, I can't even get this done. How do people get, how do people who have jobs do any of this? I don't I'm just, know. I'm just struggling all the time with stuff. Hmm, this is going to have to be. I'm blowing, I'm blowing oh, the no. handle down. 
of Miss Mini Life. She made a little um, room box. You know what the size of the room box is? Oh, no. You know those double switches on your wall? No way. <laughs> it's the size of that. That is just crazy. But that is, I, I, can't, I don't know how people can work that small. I can't see for one thing. That's That leaves me out. Well, I guess how how are you doing over there? What's your I'm what's almost your... done with my with my suitcase. Yeah. I'm putting the little handle on my brush. And I'm going to add some texture with some this this the paint that I mix is not not in vain because uh -huh. I can I can add some dimension to the suitcase on the outside. So I'm going to add like the edges. I clean up all my glue that I overshot with a brush. Kind of got a little carried away with the glue. So a little bit. It's going to have some little highlights here and there. Give us some dimension. And then I'm going to get some of the antique wax and give us some aging. This is going to be a two part gluing process because. My, uh, for this thing's been like not, it's been broken for a long time. And it is moved, you know, the wood is kind of bent in. So I got to brace it while it's not drying. I mean, it has to dry, it'll dry that way. And then I can add the other piece later once this is kind of stretched out. Okay, now some my antique wax. I still have my brush here. Still here watching during a virtual meeting. Mm. I like it. Good idea. That's a, call, that's a good use of your time. All right, here we go. Trim, 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 trim. I put stitches stitches on the other one, but I think mm -hmm. this one's too is too dark for me to add stitches. Oh, what about white? Do you even have like an orange? Yeah, well, I have, or, I have yellow, a white pen or something or white, you know. I have they, a white pen. Huh? I have a white pen. Yeah. I might do the stitches on the on the actual straps instead of the uh -huh. suitcase. Oh, that'd be cute. Yeah, that'd be a thing because I had to. So here's down. here's what it is so far. Yeah. Open it up. Da, 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 da. So I did is I just put a little toothpick to brace it because they were wanting to kind of cave in. And so this is going to take a little bit longer to do some gluing, repairing. Anyway, it was broken. It was like it, it was in the box of stuff and they'd shown it broken. I got a lot of broken stuff. Well, that's why I mean, get a better price on it and may as well, you know, glue it back together. You can get it for. Yeah, if, 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 you have, if you have the knowledge and how to how to do it. Yeah, I do have the price. Yeah. And then this one, you know, it's not a good one anyway. If it was like a really nice one, that may make a difference. But it's not that nice. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if I have to do a little glue on it myself. It's going to be okay. I think I need to add some glue here. Knock my brace out. Great. Oh, that went to that guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll leave that alone. Let that dry. Not, not mess with it. <laughs> That's why I have to have a lot of projects going at once, so I'll quit messing with them. I'm not sure what to do on my live on, on Friday. Hmm. You'll find something. We always do. I, I posted I posted um a question the question on my on my community tab, and, it, and several people have liked it, but nobody's commented. Oh no. Oh okay. <laughs> you know, okay. And make sure I did the right thing. So yeah. here's a piece I'd been working on and I'd never finished. I didn't find the right color brown. Oh, I got a mix of brown. Yuck. I bet I don't have an orangey brown. But, uh, okay, so drawers or no drawers question. I rather, I'll be honest with you, this is the one from Dollar Tree. has no, you know, I need to do. Every time I pick up this beautiful piece right here, the drawers, if you tilt it the least little bit, the drawers come falling out. So annoying. Oh, goodness. Isn't it a goldy color? Golden color? Golden color. Not even. Not uh, a little bit closer. Somewhere between these two. 
do a little bit of mixing. Yeah, so, yeah, I need to, I know, I, I need to wrap it up so I can go hang out with hubby. So we can go run this errand. Out of town. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to resand this. I don't like it. It's kind of good. I don't like it, Robin. Oh, I don't like this brush either. That was not what. <laughs> Um, it, yeah, I sanded it, but I had to be really gentle with it. And I just saw a couple of burrs popped up. You're, you're, you're channeling your, your inner Robin. My inner Robin. I don't like it. Oh my gosh. Get a better brush while I'm up. That's not the right brush. Come on brushes. I need a decent brush. So my collection of old brushes is very much a collection of old brushes. It's just lightly, like, mm, it's a little bit of burring on this one. A couple of stragglers did not want to come off. This is a pretty piece. I like this piece. The white pen I'm using is a uh, Jelly Roll number 10. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not sure where I got it from. So uh, it's just that one right there. I believe I got them on clearance somewhere and, and we got three three packs of them. Yeah. So I still have two 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 left. Okay, this is not working. Um two All right, so I had to make a I had to make a video for a doll pro you know, collab thing coming up mm -hmm. or challenge or whatever. I don't know which one it is, I guess it's a collab. But I, so I set up the dolls outside because there's all these pretty spring flowers out and I set them up outside, spent all this time. And I'm not kidding y'all, guys, the minute I started videoing and talking, my neighbor started cutting the grass. <laughs> Where were they before? There, nothing was going on all day. And then I, what is that about? So, yeah, that, that happened. Some days I just can't get it right. I just can't get it Hold right. On a second. So, yeah, I do voiceovers. I'm just, I don't think these are small enough, though. I have these Tim Holtz snippets. Mm -hmm. that some of them are like, are like travel, but I think they're too too big for the suitcase. Yeah. Yeah. They're too big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's where that. Now, see, that's a great idea if you had the, um, if you had a printer. Yeah. You could, just, you could just scan those in and just reduce them to the size you need. Look at that one. That, that could work. Uh-huh. I like it. I don't know. You're pretty kind of artistic. Why don't you just kind of draw one up yourself? Not that tiny. Oh, come on. Come on. Everybody give her some encouragement. You can do it. All right. So I like this. It's a, it's a good kind of orangey brown, like the leg. Anyway, th anyway, this was missing a speck legs when I got it and just basically added those that matchstick stuff I was working on earlier just that just add that uh three eighths inch wood now i'm going to go back with the darker brown that is still holding for decrepit yeah you keep thinking i'm sure <coughs> of it but no it never goes away and i'm just going to hit it some areas where i want it to be a little more like wood you know like grain kind of match the grain of my other pieces tone it down a little bit it's looking a little bit on the red side i need to i got some Mini dark. butterflies, but I don't think a, a suitcase would have a butterfly. I can decorate with, with butterflies if I wanted to. It's my suitcase. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, my gosh. Listen to you. A little bit of black. Just that. Just, mm, yeah. Black hurts that brown gray so fast. Don't want to use a lot of black. I just want a richer black, brown, though. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, really, uh, I'm going to have to put pictures of my uh, the patina on my piece of furniture here. I have a little ticket that says 65 cents. Oh, where did oh, that go? Look how itty bitty that is. Oh. It says 65 oh, cents. <laughs> I'm going to add it. I just brought in some black and I'm just playing with it. I just needed some like I just want this kind of wood grain look I'm trying to get back. And so I know y'all can't really see, but trust me, it needed it. It needed just a touch of black. It's, it's there, trust her. 
Yeah, the black it makes it look more like wood now instead of one just solid brown. It's like wood grain. Just dragging it through and making it a thing. So it's always kind of fun when you're doing the distressing. You know, anytime you have like an area, you have to think like where the dust would be. You know, you want that kind of highlighted because the dust has been mm -hmm. piling up over, over the years. And then darker, like especially on these little um, pieces like this, if you really want to do a good job, you would kind of make it dusty right here, but then black on the underside to kind of okay. like arch that way. But on this, I have this really cute little cutout shape. I'm going to kind of do this on it. And I'm just going to kind of make it a little bit more. Put some black in it. So, yeah. Pretend you can see. Oh, yes, we can see. It'll be fine. I'll come back with some brown. And it's not like a dry spot. And it's got this one piece that doesn't match. We're like, what are you doing? Hey, here's, the, here's the blue one. Don't don't mind all the paint and, and wax on my fingers. Look at that. Was, oh, it's so cute. And then you got the inside. So now we are. Where are we on the blinds? Are they dried? Did they dry, get all dried? The well, I'm, I'm I'm doing the other ones off uh, off the air because I have to do the whole length. Okay. And then here's this, the first one I did. I added some some of the little stickers on top too. Mm-hmm. And then Aww. like that. Oh, I love them. I do love those so much. Those kind of looks like my studio over here. Yeah, I think it would be great if we just really had a life to just do whatever we wanted to do. Wouldn't it be fun to like recreate your own art studio or the art studio yeah. of your dreams, in my case, a clean one. But no, that would be I one. I shared it on our, on our Instagram chat. Miss mm -hmm. Mini Life, she made a, a mini art studio inspired by Bob Ross. Oh yes, you did. I saw that. Yes, I haven't and looked she, at it. Yet. And she and she made the, the little paint um, tubes uh -huh. of paint and everything. And those things are like miniature. I mean, like what? I love it. She gives you, love she gives you a, a lot of tips on, on what what kind of materials to use, right? To make it easier to to um, recreate. Mm -hmm. When I say mm -hmm. when I saw that, I was like, oh, I need something like that. This has got way too much orange yellow in it, so I'm gonna brown up my little okay, I'm gonna move my here. camera back. Ow, that hurt. Don't put your hand in front of a hot I've got a version through this, but you really gotta take your time and enjoy the process. Don't put your hand in front of a hot glue gun. <laughs> this is look, this is me. I, I'm left-handed, right? So mm -hmm. when I'm using my glue gun, I always look, I got one spot yeah, here. Yeah, okay. yeah, we're gonna. I rearranged my camera because I went, Oh, yeah, I am uh, other handed. You about ready? Yes, we're, we're wrapping it up. I promise you, we really are. We are doing it. You about ready, here, though? I mean, you're like, everybody's loaded. Okay, the doggies are going with you. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, jeeping. They got to go jeeping. Yes, oh, when Philip gets home, yeah, yeah I should just. Here's Sessie's reaction to Phil being home, I should feel bad. I mean, my dog is like so loves Phil. I mean, she's not my dog. Yeah. He's home. It's his, it's his dog. So we got the two blinds. No, that's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the blinds over here out and I'll post some pictures on Instagram. Here's the two suitcases that I put on top of the trunk. Mm-hmm. But you can put oh, them it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. It's so cute. I gotta get my room. Like it's the problem is my room can't like show it because it's you know but i love that that is so cute what's wrong with you? this way yeah i'm just jerry there's five um label not now i saw that yes it was so funny because i had not finished i admit it i saw it i was thinking i will we'll both we'll both sleep better tonight you know that yeah. was, <laughs> that is the first thing i thought when i saw the picture i was like yes we can sleep now it's like finally i Got i almost that that I went to the, a second Dollar Tree and, and I mean like they don't have them here either, so I mean like oh man so so we're walking around the corner and on the end cap they had them. What that is yeah. luck! Wow, that is amazing. Because that was uh, this, this is the 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 container I finished that I made on my live on Friday. It's finished. Mm -hmm. So now it has the lid where, where the yarn comes through. And. Recycling other little containers too, to put little little, little tinies in it. I yeah, I like those. I, that that uh, save everything. 
That's what people used to do. They saved everything and then you found a use for it. And yeah, now- it started way back when with the cookie tins. Mm-hmm. They have buttons in them. Oh, yeah. My mom has a, fr- a, a few of those. So, and All I, right, so I, I have a little bit more. I'm going to lighten up. But there see, you I, go. I got it matchy. It's yeah. a little bit matchier now. Or before it wasn't very matchy. Yeah, there it is. And, and it matches the rest of it. Mm-hmm. I really did burn myself. Oh, I'm sh- so sorry. Yeah, like I said, I had my. I didn't even. It took me a while to figure out. Oh, my uh, camera's on the wrong side. I'm blocking everything I'm doing because my hands in the way. But yeah. The, well, the, the trick, the trick to the uh, minis I've, I've realized, don't rush. No, and I'm now. As I know I'm painting this very quickly, which I'm not especially when it, when it comes to gluing. Mm-mm, you gotta let things dry, guys. You gotta let it happen. Because the lantern, after I got off the live, live last week, I, I glued the lantern again, and I let it sit without touching it. Yes. And it worked just fine. There you go. Or just in case those that, that came in later, here's the I little lantern I made on the last week's live. I'm liking to get my there hands in everything. There we go. Now you can see it. It's got a little fake candle inside. I put a little screw eye on top. And it's very tiny. It, it's, um, where's my ruler? Yeah. All right. So I, I don't know if y'all saw earlier how the light some of these were, these pieces. So I went back and I just darkened them because I wanted it all the mat, the wood to match the color. It's one other. and three, one and three quarters tall by three quarter by three quarter square so that's how how tiny that thing is yeah so that uh that's yeah. more matchy and i put all the little drawers back in the little drawers that fall out so easily but i, hey, I, I got my, my husband my next... trying to have patience with me out there i've enjoyed the show ladies thank you deb for being here and thank you again for the sweet birthday card and um or card and the uh I think they have birthday, right? And then the uh, other cute little il- illustrations and off in the book. Love it. It's adorbs. Thank you all for coming. And if you're watching the replay, uh, thank you for being here. We appreciate your support. And if you haven't followed us or, I mean, uh, whatever we do, we subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, then please do so and hit that like button, y'all. But right now, hit those like buttons because we definitely need to show eBay. I mean, who are we on? I'm so into YouTube. eBay right, right now. YouTube that we exist. Project's convinced. You, you got to do, do it on all plaf, flat, platforms so everybody knows we exist. Yes. Lo- oh, yeah. And share. And share. Oh, yeah. I need to get back. I was going to share stuff this weekend. I forgot. Anyway. Love you all for but, your support. But you, you can see um, the, the, the behind the scenes on my Instagram. Mm-hmm. When I make something different, I, I usually post it there. So. Yeah, and I'll try to get this baby painted soon. Uh, let it dry overnight, and then work on my little my little bench, and um, and I will uh, post pictures then when that's done. Show you what because I did the other. And I thought, oh, I don't really want to paint. Eighty dirty hands. Browns. <laughs> so much fun. So anyway, thank you all for still being here. I enjoyed it, and uh, and thank Me you. And say your goodbyes, Nancy. So next time, be brave, be strong, and create. Yes, absolutely. Bye, everybody. <laughs> see what else to add to create this time, but it's yeah, you got to you got to figure something out. Something out. Bye, bye. I'm trying. Okay.